back everyone. We've got a really short video today. We'll be focusing a little bit more on reporting than analytics. This is a forward schedule of changes using the new timeline storyteller in Power BI. We're showing you this kind of tidbit before we release Singularity. Uh, that's our new dashboard that combines multiple data sources, multiple BI applications, very large data sets with the ability to drill down into the grain still. Uh, this will be a part of it as well. It's part of our new packaged content offering for Power BI. So the timeline storyteller is pretty straightforward. What it does well is it visualizes large um, data sets quickly. So here we've got the linear approach which is the most common and we're going to use today. There's also a radial approach and that is for cyclical data for visualizing that. Um, that's not really what a forward schedule of changes is about, so we're going to stick with uh, linear. A couple of things to take a look at. You've got two different approaches that we would most commonly use. Uh, the unified, which is what we're seeing here, and this is kind of looking at all of the change activity in IT. Could be releases, could be changes. Um, that's really the most common thing we're going to use this visualization for. Uh, we also have the faceted layout, which shows you multiple timelines together to compare in parallel. Here on the legend, we've got our comprehensive emergency and routine, routine, excuse me, routine changes, and that's uh, a ServiceNow data set. Okay? Uh, we're looking at all the various groups within IT. Okay, so if I want to look at just what the network is working on, for example, it's connected here to this uh, bar chart, but you can connect it to any of the other visuals in Power BI. Okay, so this narrows down our view, and we're going to end with here the record feature. So as you're stepping through a change advisory board, uh, and you're trying to keep the meeting on track, this can really help you move through it quickly. So we're going to look at the things we're... Uh, that we want to focus on. Okay, add a static route. Okay, so we'll hit the record button. Add a static route. Okay, uh, this marks that particular visual. Okay, and then I go to the next and we're going to record that. And then the final here, just something simple here. Uh, and we'll do, uh, you know, enable a new port on a network device record that. Okay, so that prepares, you can do this before the meeting, you know, obviously, and uh, then simply step through your visualization rather than focusing on all of IT. Well, we're just going to look at the network activity, okay, and then we move through essentially our slide presentation here, but this is of course viewing it for through the Power BI portal, so this is available to everyone it's um, you know it's it's um, a SaaS uh, view, okay. So we're we're looking that's on the internet. It's a SaaS view. It's HTML5. It works on mobile devices. Um, we mentioned that before in some of the videos. Um, so that's our timeline storyteller. It helps us move systematically through a change advisory board meeting very quickly. And we found it really helpful, so we thought we'd share that. This will be part of our Singularity offering coming up here at the uh, beginning of November. So we'll be announcing that in a larger video that you'll see shortly. And we thank you for your time today.